I'm Don Wadowitz, and this is A Look Inside the Warhawks with head football coach Jace Rindle. Brought to you by American Family Insurance agent Kyle Danielson in Fort Atkinson and Cook Logistics in Delavan. Every shipment is important and every mile matters. Coach Rindle, big win this week against John Carroll University, a team that gave you a tough game last year on the road. Your squad was dominant this year against them here at home. What did you like that you saw, and what are some things that you're working on improving as you go into week two? Thanks, Don. Yeah, very pleased with our performance out of our out of our team on Saturday. We had zero turnovers, only two penalties, uh, very explosive on offense. Defensively, didn't give up any explosive, so couldn't be uh, couldn't be more pleased. Yep, a lot of things to work on still. We're not gonna feel like we've uh, you know, arrived or anything like that. So too many drop passes, too many missed tackles. A few times we had some offensive guys beat us. And um, so th- those would be some things that we got to clean up going into week two. Individual performances that you look at that really kind of set the tone in your first game. I think our quarterback did a heck of a job. Jason Sinetti, you know, no surprises there. Fifth year senior. He started two games for us last year. So uh, but for him to, you know, he stuck in there, I think, three or four times and just got waxed, but made the throw. Um, again, we do a lot of shifts and motions. And for us to not have any penalties on offense is, is a credit to him, but also our coaching staff. Brian Stanton's another guy, a running back, sophomore that kind of had a heck of a day. Our offensive line, we rotated eight guys in there. So to see them dominate the line of scrimmage, defensive side of the ball, our defensive line really took over and and dominated. So, um, you know, I think both lines of scrimmage was, was did a heck of a job and uh, overall just really pleased with our team. Your game coming up on Saturday on the road at Roosevelt University down in Arlington Heights, Illinois. That's an interesting program in that they just kind of completed the transition process to NCAA Division II from NAIA, joining the same conference as uh, UW Parkside for sports outside of football. But putting them on the schedule, what did you see from them? What did you want to see from your team as far as being tested against the Division II, a new Division II team? Yeah, this is going to be a challenge. They're uh, they're Division II school. They're going to have a bunch of transfers and guys that are at the scholarship level. So um, it'll be challenged for sure. Now, the other part of it is that they haven't played a game yet. So this is very similar to a week one opponent for us, just in regards to we have no film on them. They got some new coordinators on the offense and defensive side of the ball. The head coach is the same, but, you know, just some of those uncertainties on what type of scheme and who their personnel is going to be. But um, like like we approach every week, we really talk about having a nameless gray face as the opponent. And uh, again, that's no disrespect to them, but the focus needs to be on us and our preparation and how we go about it. Because if we focus on us, that's going to give us our best chance to play the best version of us on Saturday. All right, Coach, that at Roosevelt University on Saturday, a 1 o'clock kickoff. Good luck in that one, and we will talk to you next week. Thank you, Don. This was A Look Inside the Warhawks, brought to you by American Family Insurance agent Kyle Danielson in Fort Atkinson and Cook Logistics in Delavan. Every shipment is important, and every mile matters.